want to have yourself the newest loot bags in galore just like I do right now, then of course today's video is perfect for you. We're going to talk about the best way to farm the new loot bags in Pet Simulator X and of course as well, you know, how to do it. And we have something for every tier of player. So if you're a new player, even I got you covered. And of course, if you're a pro player, I got you covered as well. So if you're ready, let's get going. Before we get into today's video, I want to talk about today's sponsor, G2A. G2A is a website where you can get games, game accessories, and more for a lower price than anywhere else. Even games like Cyberpunk or Hitman 3 are so much cheaper than you can get them anywhere else. Go from 60 euros to only 38. That's insane. Even if you're looking for a Robux gift card, you can see they're a lot cheaper in G2A as well. So if you want to check out G2A yourself, go check out the description down below for the link and click it right now. Hey guys, what's good? It's Blaze here. Welcome back to another video, guys. Day back in Roblox Pet Simulator X for another video. Today, guys, we're going to talk about new loot bags. You see right here, there's already a ton of them in this little area right here. And I'll tell you guys, of course, all about the best pets and the best methods to get them. Because there is a little bit of math behind it, which is a little bit hard. And, you know, you don't have to know how it goes. But you see right here, look at this. I'm going to go walk over this. Look at all the gems, all the things I'm getting. Even some free boosts. Look at that. Two triple damage boosts just like like that and of course you gotta know how to do this so i'm gonna hook you guys up today with how this works keep in mind though right now uh i uh, i already recorded this video once but i didn't notice that i had a triple damage running for like an hour or two uh so that's why i was like you know i i had different pets before and now i have to use different pets why is this and i didn't notice that it's triple damage on so um but yeah i'll tell you guys all about this right now first off though there is a mer traveling merchant right here there we go 110 bill you know i'm gonna buy this up for actually Actually, I don't have diamonds because they're in the bank. Uh, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and get those in just a little bit. But that's fine. So we, first of guys, need to do a little bit of setup. Because we want to go ahead and get ourselves the best stuff possible. We want to have those diamond stacks. We want to have the boots. We want to get some coins. But, of course, what pets do I need for this? This is the big thing. You need, some, you need a few locations and you need a few pets. So first off, you need to get yourself some new pets. So you can go the easy way of just filling your team with, a, like, you literally just cats, dogs, whatever you want. Or you can go a little bit of a harder route and you can fill your inventory up with the legendary Hydras with diamond stats or royalty on them. So you can get royalty, you can see that gives us 100% more diamonds or, you know, other diamond stats. So, you know, you just go ahead and get yourself these enchants from there. Uh, so after you've done that, uh, I would recommend getting yourself the Hydras because getting yourself Diamond Pets is just very, very nice for AFK Diamond hunting or, of course, for this method. Um, you get yourselves like one or two royalties an hour from opening up with the extra Lucky Boost, etc. So it shouldn't be too bad of getting yourself a full team of the Hydras. Otherwise, you know, if you want to do this method just fast, get yourself a full team of level 1 Pets. Once you've done that, we need a little bit of a damage dealer. We only need one damage dealer in the whole team, so your, all the of your other slots are going to be filled up with the new pets, but you're going to need one damage dealer as a whole. So, we're going to have ourselves a few locations where you can go ahead and get yourself these uh, boot, the, 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 these presents from. So, we're going to go over first off to the volcano. That's going to be your first chest. This is going to be the noob chest. So, what you need for this is going to be around... This is without double, triple damage. So, uh, for me, it's going to be a lot faster to take down these chests. But there is some, some math behind it. I'll tell you guys in just a little bit. But you're going to need yourself around a hell spider or a demon. If you guys don't know where to get them, you can go to the fantasy shop. And then the hell egg over here in the corner will hook you up with those pets. You can see right there, the spiders run like 0 0.26. 0 0.19 is the demon. That's around the damage you're going to need. Because every single chest you're going to defeat today you want it to last around 25 to 35 seconds that is going to be the sweet spot for you guys to figure out um of course right now i have triple damage so for me it's going to be a lot faster to take those these things and that's why when i did previous testing uh on the video you guys have will never see uh, i took down the chest quite fast because of course i do triple damage you can see right here this goes quite fast this is not uh, 25 seconds to take down this chest and i was like you know uh i before it worked like this and now it didn't but I didn't see that I have triple damage on. So uh, you can see right there, we got to sell some bags flying out. 
But there will be a bunch more bags if you have a lower tier. Actually, I will quickly go to the fancy shop and buy a lower tier pet. I think probably around the samurai egg. Will that be enough? So we're just going to buy quickly three of these. Some golden pandas. This is around like one third of the damage. Uh, no, this is 130k. So maybe... Maybe this one? Let's go test this one out. Some Willow Wisps and stuff. 600k. Yeah, this probably should be enough. So let's go unequip this. Because it's around like 100, 1.8 million on, uh, with a triple damage boost. So we're going to go to the chest and show this off right now. So we're going to go over here and do, 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 wait for the chest. So again, guys, if you, do, you don't want to use boost for this, there's no purpose in them. So you do want to use the spider or the demon. Uh, but right now, just for test purposes, because I have triple damage running, I will use a lower tier pet just to simulate the same thing. You see right here, it now goes pretty slow. Around like 20, 25, 35 seconds is what you want to aim for. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't really matter too much how long it's actually taken, but um, if it's around the 25 to 35 second mark, it should be good. So my pets right now are nicely taken down. This chest, of course, it goes quite fast on this one just because I have all of the hydrogen. and, of course, these damages will add up on these chests. But if you see this explode, boom, there we go. Five. No, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight loot bags. Look at that, guys. Eight loot bags just like that from just waiting a few seconds. And that is, you know, if you're starting off, getting yourself like 50, 60k diamonds, that is pretty crazy from one chest because that is pretty pretty good on the early game but this is not where it ends guys this is not the most op method there's even better methods out there so we have we have two methods on the haunted island and the hell island in the fantasy world for this guys you will need yourself the following pets you will need a uh, blurred bear and a blurred axolotl the blurred bear is the best one or the stack dog doesn't really matter it's not really the same uh, you're gonna use these ones for this chest right here and this will be on the uh haunted island so you're gonna use this for this one of course it will go for me pretty fast just because i have triple damage but you know you guys know the drill um i will get myself a worse pet so we will get the magician because that's around like you know uh the the mining mole sorry because it's like a third ish you know so we're gonna put that on you can see it now it goes quite slow and at the end we're gonna get ourselves a bunch more presents so nope that's just what you do. You just open up these chests. And because you open up the chest, it's quite AFK. And there will be a non-AFK method as well if you want to have the best results. So that will be coming at the end. So stay tuned for that. So you can see right here, we're going to open up this chest. And uh, bada beam, bada boom. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Oh, we got ourselves another boost as well. Like this thing is just popping up boost. There we go. Two super lucky boosts just like that. So there we go, guys. For this one, again, you use a blurred bear stacked dog-ish type, you know. Those are pretty cool. We'll show you guys, of course, as well where to get them. And then for the next tier, you're going to use on the Hell Island, we're going to use the blurred axolotls. I will use 70... Uh, I'll just use this as well. That is fine. And we're just going to use the same pet on here. And you can see it's going to take a while as well. Uh, but this one's pretty nice because, of course, you have two chests, so you don't have to wait. So this one, uh, this why this one is the most AFK, the best one, because you can just switch between the two chests that can spawn over here. Right now, there's only one spawning, but normally it's two chests. So, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so you can use the Axolotl for that, or you can, again, use this Blurred Bear, the Stag Dog. You know, you have to test a little bit yourself what works the best. For me, I think the Stag Dog and the Blurred Bear work better because I have a lot more damage from the previous events and stuff but it's all depending on what you have gotten so far so you can see right here we're gonna go take down this chest and we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of the beautiful looting bags and boom there you go look look at how many bags came out in one go look at that. that's the power of like the 35 25 second rule that is crazy look at that that's so many bags of course it's totally random what kind of bags they are but you know that is just insane so those are the AFK methods. Three AFK methods. And then the final one is going to be the non-AFK method. For this, you will need around a, uh, uh, a fluffy. So not a golden one, but a normal fluffy. I got the golden ones, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Uh, so normal fluffies, or you need around a golden glebo. So of course, which one, which eggs are they from? Before, of course, we had the dogs and the stack dog, that kind of stuff. These are from the stack dog is here. We have the normal blur dog, the ex lottles over there. And then we have ourselves the Gleepo over here. And the Fluffy is from this egg, the rare. 
So, you know, pick and choose whatever you want. And then you go to the alien forest. So, once you have your pets, we're going to go ahead. We're going to just go equip ourselves. Because, um, of course, this one's actually pretty good right now. We're going to use next level again because we still have triple damage for a minute. So, uh, But what are you going to take down in this area is just the presence. The presence are the best one to take down. It will take quite a while, of course. 25, 35 seconds to take one down. But why this one is not AFK, you have to search a present, and as well, sometimes, of course, there are no presents anymore. But what's cool, during the breaking process, these presents actually will break out. Um, and that, of course, is different from the big chest. There we go, another three right there. So we already got five, just like that. And then we get ourselves another few. There we go. Look at that, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that, and another five. So that's 11 from one present, which is absolutely crazy. But again, of course, this is less AFK because you have to figure out the presents, where they are. You're going to have to find them. And if they're not there, you're going to have to take down the gem piles or the coin piles that are around. Never open up these ones, these blocks, because they will actually uh, only give uh, the, 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 the presents at the end so it's only like one proc instead of three because you get three stages on these presents and this one only gets one stage so never use it look at that guys look at all those bags on the ground which is absolutely crazy and that is the non-afk method so here we have you guys we got ourselves three afk methods for every tier of player inside the game you got yourself the high tier method with the best pets you know you have to get and that is just it. I don't really have a better way of doing it. Of course, there could be some other pets. You do have to do a little bit of testing for your own damage because it's all depending on how many pet slots you have. It's a bit depending on how many, um, like, you know, boosts you got. Did you do the Halloween event? Did you not do the Halloween event? Uh, do you have all the other upgrades around the game, you know? Uh, so it's all depending on that. But you can do a little bit of damage calculating. And again, so I use for these uh, the Goop, the, the Glipo Avian. Their normal fluffy is for the final area. Then the other ones are going to be around the uh, 400 to 200 mil area. And then we had the uh, 2 million around that for the beginning chest and you can always go lower just test it out yourself if you want to so there we have it guys that's a bunch of ways to get yourself the new presents loot boxes whatever you guys want to call them inside of pet simulator x my personal favorite i think still is the haunted island just because all the presents are pretty close together but the best one i think is hell to afk uh, but, you know, I think it's really, really cool. And you definitely will see a screenshot of all the presents in the center in today's video. You've probably already seen the thumbnail. So, if you guys did enjoy today's video, of course, hit the like button down below. Guys, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you maybe get yourself any other OP methods. I think this ones are the best. Test it out yourself and which one you like the most. So, if you have enjoyed today's video, hit the like button down below. Guys, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So, stay guys. Take care. Love you. Bye. Thanks so much for watching. And, of course, as well, take care, guys.